Well, g'day, and what a day it is. Dan Jones is my name. I am here with Ruby, who you may have seen on some previous videos. And today we're on the Sax Rebel 47. A rib, would you believe it? Like, the rib market, it's absolutely exploding right now. And um, I think there's a number of reasons why we can see that happening. And some of the ribs were early adopters. Uh, and when I'm referring to ribs, I'm talking about hot ribs. I'm talking about refined ribs. And Saks were definitely the early adopters for the refined, sexy, luxurious style of rib. And, and they were probably the, one of the first ones into our market anyway, with that style of boat. And I guess, who, am I, who are we talking to today? I think we're talking to the guy or girl that's had a couple of ribs. You know, you've probably been through this cycle of owning some sports boats. You've probably owned some other really cool and interesting boats um, prior to moving onto something or considering something like this. And because of that experience, because of that sort of depth of boating knowledge, you know exactly what you want. And I think that's when you look at a Rebel 47. This is a yacht, this is a sports yacht, disguised as a rib, basically. This isn't, this isn't your basic little go fast run around, this is next bloody level. This thing is kick ass awesome. We've just had a desk drive, like just taken it out the heads, done a few loops, I have a little bit of experience and I've been fortunate enough to look at it from the drone. And yeah, I can tell this is the boat when you want that big boat experience, when you want that big boat convenience, when you want that big boat capacity to entertain, but you don't want the big boat inconvenience. You don't want the big boat hassles of starting the thing up, packing it down at the end of the day. Like you really value your time. You know exactly how you're gonna use it. And so you get directed to a style of boat like this. Um, that's what I think Saks are doing with this particular model. And I believe if you're the guy who's got the mate with the Mangusta 165 or the Sunseeker mm -hmm. Predator or something else, and he's hanging out with his you know, 15 friends, you're the guy that can rock up, raft up easily, entertain, and then you can piss off and do your own thing. Like, that's what I'm seeing. So anyway, that's my two cents. We're gonna have a bit of a walkthrough. Ruby's gonna join me. I think you're gonna maybe give me your opinion on like the enjoyment side of things. Yeah, we've got to be honest here, you're not an experienced Bodie, but you're an no. experienced leisure yeah. Bodie. You come boating with me and my friends. I like a bit of leisure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like a bit of leisure on the water. Yeah, yeah 100%. 100%. And like, you know, you're, you know, you're from England, but you do lots of your boating in the Med. You've got friends in Monaco, all yeah. that sort of thing. So you, you get it. And I think that's the sort of people who are going to be looking at this boat. 100%. So, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I, I'm here with Colin. He's behind the camera. He's made this day possible. And I have to say a big thank you to the owner of this boat. Um, we normally used stock boats for these sorts of videos. And I feel like, honestly, really grateful to have had access to such an awesome piece of kit. Um, so thank you. Um, really appreciate it, and yeah, we're going to do a bit of a walkthrough. Let's I think get started. Yeah, start at the back of the boat. So come on, come on down and have a look, um, Cole. I'd like you to see what's going on out the back here, and I'm going to talk to everyone, and I'm I think I'm going to get you to jump on some of these uh, little little items as we walk through Ruby, just for your perspective. But stern drive. Fixed pl swim platform, a lot of people really like this setup because they've had many boats before. Yes, outboards are popular. Yes, outboards are an option on this boat and you can have the quad 600s if you wish. So hey, that'd be amazing and I think that would be a lot of fun too. But, but if you're reversing into a dock, if you're entertaining, if you're doing this, like that's where this extra usable space might come in handy. Um, but what are we looking at? We've got, this is easily one and a half meters long, maybe more, you know, yeah, one and a half meters of space by, you know, the beam of the boat, almost the full beam, plus the, the, uh, the size of the ribs on either side. So first thing worth talking about, this is an absolutely fantastic way to enter the water. I'm gonna operate this for you. So I'm gonna actually get Ruby, you come out here, 
I'm gonna deploy this. So you press two buttons on, and then I'll just make sure that Cole's not standing on it. And Cole press, goes flying. <laughs> yeah. So check this out. So if you want to enjoy your getting in and out of the water, this is how you do it. Like, how cool is this? I think they call these things opera mare. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. It's probably said in some fancy European accent. But Ruby, just walk up there. So simulating. This is my grand moment little, to fly. Little dive. Just don't, don't walk out to the end. I don't want to lose you in the drink so early in the day. <laughs> but how does that feel? Feels brilliant. I feel like I'm on the Titanic. That's pretty rock star. It I'm not going to go up star. and down. So this, this are we thing, gonna are we going to lower it as well? Well, it <laughs> you, you step off. I don't I don't want to lose you with your microphone on, and then no, but it's super easy. I will. So that lowers into the water. If that's not cool, I'm sorry. You don't know what cool is. Um, yeah. So okay, we're talking. Yeah, this style of boat is gonna attract boaty, active, adventurous people. So, you know, if you're, if you're into your spear fishing, if you wanna have, um, if you wanna do a bit of diving, if you wanna do a bit of snorkeling, if you wanna move a boat like this between Sydney Harbour and up to the Whitsundays, for example, and you know, you've got your Whitsundays activities and you've got your Sydney Harbour vibe, this is great. So launching people in and out of the water, um, enjoying places like this and getting adventurous enables you to enjoy the boat a lot more with a platform like this. So I'll raise that. Actually, I'm just gonna leave it in the up position because we wanna carry on with this walkthrough. So you've been for your swim, you've got out of the water, you've set this up in diving platform mode. There is a carbon fiber hot and cold shower which plugs in right here and you can have a shower here. So that's, that's pretty awesome. And then just here and same on the other side, this is a plug in for a, a big dive ladder. So it's a stainless steel dive ladder, which I, it looked like about a five step um, dive ladder. And you can have that on either side. So you've got options for getting in and out of the water. And then just here and here, we have big poles which attach and a great big sunshade goes to the back of the bimini and right out across the, uh, the whole sun lounge over the back of the boat. So that's, that's quite sensible. Um, how does that sun lounge feel, Ruby? What do you reckon? Let's find out. Let's find out. This is all top. Come join me. Well, it's all top quality leather. Like, yeah. It's, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> this is so cool. Honestly, if you need something to aspire to in life, like, I think this is it. I mean, I think we've made it. <laughs> I'm like, we don't need to do anything else. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so, so this is multifunctional. Um, I had a little squeeze before. First thing, I love all the details. Like, yeah. sacks quite clearly go for the details. They go for the high quality. All this leather is good stuff. We've just been fast on the boat. None of it was flying around, so it's no. all secured properly to the decks. It also feels amazing when you're sitting on it and you are going fast. Like, yeah. It's comfortable. You're not feeling like you're flying off at the back. Yeah. It's and just all, a good entertaining space. This is a good colour for our country as well. Yeah. Like, this is, uh, there's no heat on this right now. Also, with this... Um, with this flexi teak, same thing. It's not, it's not absorbing the heat. So yeah. even though we got a little bit of heat load from the spring sun, it's not too bad. Not like but, hot, sweaty leather. <laughs> no, nah, exactly, exactly. But I love, I love all the black details against the white. That's yep. super cool. But if I press, so jump off Ruby and I don't want you to fall. I'm just gonna operate this. So if I press this button here, that just opens up our toy storage. So. It just lends, it's back to my earlier point, if you're, you know, if you're the active boater, this is where you store all year. Look at this, he's got the sea bobs, see? What we was I saying? We can put my mono ski in here. Yeah, see, awesome. So he's got, he's got a spare anchor, so you could do a stern anchor if you wanted, coming into the beach. There's your dive ladder, here's all your other gear, got your sea bob. Amazing. Um, these look like the poles for the sunshade, sunshade stores here, and extra bits and pieces. And that's great. So, super, super convenient. Keeping all the, um, are your hands clear as I close yes. that? Keeping all the toys and the fun stuff in one side of the boat and then the entertainment in the other side, which is logical and sensible. So coming in to the main part of the boat, so you guys come in a little bit closer. I want you to see all of this. Um, as you come through, look at the detail. Like this is just top quality stuff. 
It's really well finished. This is not a brand new boat and, and the detail looks amazing. Got these drop down cleats, this custom diesel inlet, like that's that's awesome. That's just not a, that's not a off the shelf jobby, not that I've noticed before. And, and they've got the logo um, into the little opening gate just there. So that, that's cool. Um, come in closer and let's check out the size of this lounge area here. So can you guys see all that from where you are here? So this is this is what you do on a boat like this. I mean, yeah. how, it's like how many how many on your side? One, <laughs> two, three, two, four, three, ten people. We yeah. could do, we could do ten people. Do ten. Yeah. So do you have ten friends, Dan? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Um, so that's, that's obviously support that goes under this, this but that just opens like so. so. It's got yeah. this beautiful stainless steel inlay, nice big hinges, great quality, and it clearly drops down and there's a cushion that goes on the top of this. So what I like about this is you've got, if you want the shade, you can sit here and you've protected from the shade. You've got a little pr protection from the rain. The beer mini stops just here. So you've got five six, seven, eight, maybe nine people can yeah. all be seated, protected from wind, rain, and sun. And then those who want the sun can sit there. The people you want to roast themselves like a peanut. Well, yeah, why not? <laughs> but like, you know. But also you can have the sunshade out as well, and then you can cover everyone. But, uh, but you do that at lunch. Exactly, So you'll, yeah. you'll, when you're running along at speed, a few of you, you know, people have the option to move around. This is just an absolute must for our country. I know it's an option not to have it, but I think for Australia, like oh, you yeah. just want it. And just experiencing the protection from the breeze we had just yeah. earlier today, you know, there is a bit of a southerly wind blowing. Um, that definitely, definitely helps. Um, so I see another uh, a shower. So there's obviously a, an optional big stand up shower and another pull out shower on starboard. So anyway, we'll, we'll keep keep making our way through this hatch here I'm not going to open it um, just yet because we'll cut to that but that's generator storage so generator fuel tanks on either side they're stainless steel fuel tanks and then you've also got um, space for extra fenders the boat covers and all those bits and pieces this looks like a bit of storage in here I know this is storage underneath here so that's all quite logical um, and then the other thing worth noting like you've got 10 people You've got space. Yeah. So if people like if we're entertaining, people are always moving around on boats. Like like mm. if you like I'm doing this, you can quite clearly walk past me. Yeah. You know? So if you want to get and go to the galley, which we'll do in a second, or well, like exactly. it's, it's not an issue. So what that says to me, like, someone with a boat like this would probably at times hire a driver and maybe a hostess. Yeah. And they can be doing their thing in this part of the boat and you guys can be, all the guests can be here. Can be socialising. It's also, it's open plan. You can see everything that's going on. It's nice. Yeah, so, like, so as, as the, if you're the skipper or the host, you can see who needs a drink. Yeah. Um, you can see everywhere when you're operating the vessel if the guests need attending to, essentially. And that's kind of the, the people that are going to enjoy a boat like this will probably appreciate that sort of 100%. service. So let's, let's go in and have a look. What do we see? Um, induction? <laughs> That's cool. Um, I don't even know how to use these things. I've seen them before. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a novice when it comes to kitchen equipment. But you that clearly looks... have the skipper and the hostess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I'm not that eyebrow, but that looks like a two burner induction. So this is a freezer that's beautifully finished. Nice, yeah. you know, gloss black here. And then we've got a hot and cold sink. Again, is that... okay, so that's on a, it's not hinged. That's on a removable lid. And then we've got all of these opening, okay, one, two, opening, and then on this side, more, so we've got storage for all your picnic wear, all your glasses, they've got their own holders, everything's neatly finished, all the, all these fiddles and drawers and catches and latches are like next level quality, so they're great, and, yep, okay, and then two more fridges just here, so these are stand-up pull-out fridges, so, yeah, heaps of capacity, so we've got freezer, Fridge, fridge, sink, two burner just here, storage, storage. So you really got a full kitchen. Yeah. Like it's yeah, a great can. it's that's why it's an entertaining boat. But if, if it You've was got like, the stuff for it. Definitely. Like if it was just two people, this is easy to manage. Like mm. essentially there's not a lot to do here. We've just dropped the anchor. We don't have to worry about fenders because we've got these big 
tubes on the yeah. side. So if we wanted to raft up with someone, just get out some lines, mm. do it, and then you're ready to rock and roll. So good. Like, and you're not stuck up on another level or inside the cabin where you can't access the boat. So yeah. nice grab handle just here. Okay, um, come up and have a look at the helm with me, Ruby. See what you yeah. think. And okay, so I couldn't work out this before on the test drive. It just goes up and down. I was trying to do too many things. You can take the spicy, I'll time. take the helm. <laughs> yeah, you take the helm. How does it I like feel? It. How feels it? nice. And this is what I was trying to say before. You've got this platform because I'm not tall, yeah. you know? It's like, yep. I'm not coming in at seven foot. <laughs> no, no. 100%. But if I'm standing up on here, I can see ahead if you've got like the waves coming towards you and you're going up. Yep. It's like, it's a good, comfortable space to sit in. But, but. If you were a really big or tall guy or girl, you you've got, got the, yeah. heaps more space below you there. So if, if I put that up, like you've got heaps of standing room just there, and yeah. like you've got another oh my God. foot and a half. I can't even touch the roof. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on my tippy toes. Yeah. And there we go, now I can. <laughs> like the bow raise on acceleration is minimal, so you just got a little bit of this, your visibility is good, you got yeah. plenty of space to move around here. And then in terms of guests, mm, you can start. it's designed for two, but I think this is space enough for three. There's space enough for three, 100%. Yeah. You've got yeah. that middle section as well here. Huh? Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. But I like how you've got the individual flip up bolsters. Yeah. So if I want to stand and you want to sit, like it's not going to inter interfere with that whole, whole vibe. And I like how the seat really cups you in yeah well we were all sitting up here with Colin before yeah and there was so much space for all of us correct and did you notice how the wind passed us by on yeah. this angle so there was no wind until you got to here when we were like we were doing about 25 knots at the yeah. time and so we were protected the whole time and I know there's an optional sunroof just here but I kind of like not having it like yeah because like how much sun do we need in this country like <laughs> it's nice to have some shade yeah. And ha just knowing that this is permanently here, it's solid as, so there's no rattles or anything. It's all no just wind, locked nothing. in in space. Yeah, we, yeah, this is your own little cocoon of protection. And if you want to get the sun or the wind, go out there or go up there, yeah. which we're gonna, we'll go up there in a second. But just whilst we're here, because I didn't talk about it in detail during the test drive, can you guys see this helm? This is, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. I, I, I really enjoy this sort of stuff. So. We've got all our analog gauges along here. We've got all our boat systems super neatly organized. It's clearly built in Europe. Obviously they're made in Italy and they've got all these icons so you can understand them. You know, anchor icon, up, down, that sort of stuff. So we've got the engine diagnostics, small displays. We can run diagnostics through the computer and we have the analog quick glance gauges, which are all across here. Rudder angle indicator, we've got thruster and stern thruster and we've got an autopilot just here. Um, stereo operation just here. This is the Volvo on and off. Uh, and then we've just got a fuel gauge, digital throttles, fixed steering wheel with the nice Sax logo in the middle. Um, yeah, it's just really plush, super top quality. This is like a, a gloss black finish. And the one thing, I, I there was no glare back in my face. Often with a gloss finish, you worry about that, but they've put some like carpet up the front there so any um, sun coming in through the windscreen is knocked down by matte black up the front and then you still get to enjoy the good looks of the uh the gloss black up here we've also got a um a compass just up here and then plenty of down lights all the way through so in the evening this can all be illuminated and i can see uh, mood lights dotted all the way around the decks um, whilst we're here ruby covered off the footstep but there is uh, a hatch just after that, which is clearly ventilates into the cabin uh, for some cross flow ventilation. Let's, um, let's go check out the bow. So let's go have a look up there before we go downstairs. But, I'll join you from the other side. Yeah, <laughs> please do. So we meet in the middle. You got all, all this nice finishing, like that's a great hand hold. It's super prof professionally done. This is not a new boat. And um, what I, I like seeing boats that are a couple of years old because there's no rust coming out of anywhere, which tells me this thing was built right in the first place. They haven't used lower grade stainless because on some boats after a few years operation, you can notice little rust marks coming out and hey, that's boats, you get what you pay for. But this thing is not deteriorating in that manner. So it just tells me, hey, this thing's built well. Um, I've got nav lights just up there. Coming through, we've got this um, 
this railing going up the gunnels. What's this? Oh, that is that for is that a rod holder or for a flag? I don't even know. Oh no, that must be for a sunshade. Okay, I get it. So there's a forward sunshade. One, two, three, four. Yeah, cool. Okay, so we've got more sun protection up here. So come, come and follow me. One, two, three drink holders and more railings. You you feel really secure, like this is not a boat that rocks around. So it, it's inherently more stable than um, any other rib that you're gonna experience hands down. But like this design, you've, you feel like you, you've got something to hold on to, but then you also do actually have something to hold on to as you make your way forward. How does and that feel? This is my favorite part of the whole boat. Oh, this is it's so comfy. You it's can tell this has been designed by an Italian, hey? It's They've beautiful, <laughs> and you've got the cup holders for drinks. Yeah. It's a perfect place to sunbathe. You can oh sit with your God. friends. I feel so, can I join you? This yeah, is... please. Please do. <sighs> oh, hello world. Hello. <laughs> this would be so cool. So I, I can imagine cruising along at like 10 knots, you know, off the plane and just really enjoying myself. That's when you have a skipper driving. You, you, you're getting taken to lunch. Yeah. You're going to you know, one of the boathouse groups restaurants or somewhere cool for lunch and have your drink up here and just enjoy the ride. That would just be so amazing. And I can see we've got stereos up here so we can separate the sound from the bow to the stern to the cockpit. So that's all, that's all logical. This is just so ergonomic. You could just sleep here too. You actually with, could. With the Imagine sunshade. Imagine in the evening. In the evening you could have a little, nice little star watch. Oh my God, it would be amazing. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Let me just check out this one. So I could see we still have the courtesy lights. Um, and then this is, Oh, so How's like, going up there? this is when I picked up the six girls from the dock. This is where we all hang oh, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep me in the front. Keep the other girls <laughs> okay. in the back. Nice. No. You said it, not me. <laughs> um, so the, uh, I like this because it's, you know, some boats you have to have um, the backrest is separate and you've got to go muck around with it. This is just integrated into the design. So they're clearly thinking people want to lounge, people want to yeah. enjoy themselves. It doesn't have to be all multifunctional, it's a big boat will just design the lounge into the style of the boat. So no, no work necessary, you know, like sit down, enjoy yourself. This clearly opens up and goes downstairs into the cabin, which we'll check out in a second. And we've got our drink holders, one windscreen wiper and, and the teak, which is the flexi teak, goes all the way to the bow. And because it's not real teak, really easy to maintain. So yeah. going back to, you know, it's a, it's a sports yacht hidden as a, you know, disguised as a rib. Um, where Cole is under his feet is access to the ankle locker um, and the rib goes obviously all the way around to the bow so you can go bump into people, docks, all that sort of stuff and not have to worry. And we'll cut. Okay, I reckon we should go downstairs and have a look, but I think, I think you should talk to the ladies yeah, on this good. one. I don't, I don't know if that's the appropriate approach. I know everyone's equal in this world today, but I reckon you walk me through, I'll grab the camera off Cole Sounds good. And yeah, let's let's do that. So you head down. Uh, I'll grab this. Thanks, Cole. Let's go check and out these interiors. Yeah, I reckon I reckon it's worthwhile. Um. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> we all know I'm that. I'm never this... sure what to say these days. <laughs> we all know that this is the most important part because if you're not having a good night's sleep, then you're not going to have a good day boating. And the one thing I really like about the boat is the interiors. So not only have we got an amazing master bedroom here with a lot of sleep room, like I am a hogger of duvets. I will take up all the bed space if I can. So trust me when I say that this has so much space that I will not be North Koreaing anyone and I will have enough blanket for both of us. But yeah, you've even got storage sections on the side here if you want to put some little blankets or anything to keep you warm. It can get a bit chilly during the nights. You've got light readings, um, reading lights which have individual switches. So I'm pretty sure, there we go. If one person wants to go to sleep and the other person wants to stay up all night reading Fifty Shades of Grey or whatever people are reading nowadays, you can do that too. <laughs> you even have a charging point on one side. You've got a little plug-in which is a normal socket and then you've got a socket which you can you know, plug in extra lights, you can plug in your phone, plug in your camera, whatever you're using. Can you sit up in bed? Can I sit, yeah. Yeah, heaps of space. I've got so much space. Yeah. You can sit up, you can lie down, you can down with dog. Whatever you're feeling. <laughs> One of my favorite things now about this boat as well is this amazing wardrobe space. It's a little bit cluttered at the moment. We've still got all our stuff in here, but you've got hanging space. So if you've got nice trousers, nice day suits for lunches out with friends, like, like we said, this is a boat that you're going from Ibiza mainland to Formentera. Maybe you want to pack a party outfit. 
who knows? But you've got the space to do that, which is great. And also for extra baggage, if you've got friends coming on board and they need to store stuff, you can just chuck it all in the back. Um, How big are those drawers under the bed? We have drawers under the bed? <laughs> See, this is something I didn't know. Yeah, see, I'm just wondering how big they are. So, yeah, they're huge. You've got a lot of space. You can put shoes in here, underwear. So him and her, you can have one each. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, that's a great feature. And the best part is you've also got amazing, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you've got amazing mood lighting as well. So in the evenings when it gets dark, everything's illuminated. And that means that you're not going to bash your feet or anything on this step going up. Good point. Which is a great, a great thing. There's also, I think, another little bit of storage down here. Well, before I get there, because I'll need to turn around, how's that couch? Is it comfortable? I mean, yeah. You can practically sleep, eh? Practically have another person. Which is great, because during the daytime, sometimes if it gets windy like up on deck, you just want to come downstairs and sit downstairs. Yeah. Which I think is brilliant. And it's like perfect for what you're doing just there. It's perfect just for a little, it's another little chill zone, isn't it? Yeah. So, Have but a little you, sneaky chat. Yeah. Chat with a friend. What's in, what's in just underneath, uh, behind the lounge just there? Is behind, it, on this yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we've got another little cubby section for extra storage. Oh, and it's wow, huge. it's huge, yeah. Oh, cool. You could fit so much stuff in there. Okay. And then you've got some more com remotes and controls. Which yeah, I'm sure it looks Dan like VHF. So I'll, I'll, let me have a quick look at that. I'll just... So we've just started the engine. So for, well, actually it'll be interesting to check the engine noise and to see what it's like with water passing underneath the hull. Yeah. Not that you're really going to be sleeping down here underway, but hey. Taking a little, had too, had too many drinks, taking a little <laughs> party nap. <laughs> Whatever. So keep but, going. Yeah, so the, the good thing about this is we've obviously got all the storage down here, which we just spoke you through. Yeah. But then there's also, there's more cubbies up here and you've got another cubby literally right here as well, which is huge. Yeah, it's ginormous. You've got so, so much storage space. Awesome. So when you're bringing luggage and baggage on board, it's like you can fit everything in there. All your outfits, which is amazing. And now, the most important part, the bathroom. <laughs> so this is amazing. You've got so much space in here. And on top of that, we're gonna come in and we'll show you this in a minute, but you've got a shower, you've got great shower space with ample head height as well. I'm five foot seven. So then a guy probably, you know, you probably get a six or five guy in here and he's easily able to stand, which is great. And then the other thing is you've got amazing bathroom space. You've even got a little loo light, little loo window. Dan, do you want to go in and see it? Yep. You've even got a little window so you can see out. If someone makes a stink, you can open it up. <laughs> you know what? That's actually important. A lot of boats don't yeah. have ventilation in the loo. Which is extremely and, important. I know, I know. Like, do, do you want to be able to cycle air through these areas? Yeah, and I 100%. Can I can see you've got this uh, little um, fold down thing over the loo and this is a wet area. Mm. And then you've got the drainage shower. as well. Yeah. You've got the drainage at the bottom for the shower, which is amazing. You've got amazing mirror space. You can do your makeup here in the morning. It's easy to see each other, you know, it's nice. We've got the sinks. I'm not turning those on at the moment. And then we've even got some cupboard space for, for example, toiletries, makeup. They've got a lot of aqua de Palma here, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, so you've got everything here. It's a really well-equipped bathroom. Perfect. What do we have back here? And then we've got my favorite part, which is for the men when they piss you off. <laughs> you can put them in this section and you can take the main bed. So you really can actually North Korea someone to the uh, other side. Have a lie down. How big's the space? So it's good. It doesn't feel claustrophobic. I get kind of claustrophobic sometimes if I'm in small spaces, but actually I've got a lot of like head height here. What's amazing as well, wow, I didn't even see this. You've actually got a hole here, which gives you extra head height. So you're even more, like even less, like not claustrophobic basically. So that's the opening window. And to it's the, got a window. So you'll get cross flow ventilation. If you open that and the other one above the main bed. I can even open it up and yell, yell to Colin. He can pass me down a drink. <laughs> like it's brilliant. <laughs> I think it's great. Like it's really comfy. I could sleep here easily. So I can see some reading lights behind you. Yeah. Um, so it's actually, it's padded out with cushions just there. So yeah, you've got reading lights, you've got plug in points, which is great. You've yep. even got a little section here where you can put little supplies, you know, blankets, extra things. Yeah. It's basically kitted out exactly like the main one. Yep. And Some extra storage space, which is amazing. Yeah. Some even more, I would open them up, but there's, we've yeah. already seen inside 50 That's someone else's boat. Yeah. Um, it's like, what, I mean, what I love about all this, it's, it's once again, it's the details, you know, you've got this big stainless steel support, and yeah. it's got, it's got um, courtesy lights. So you can have the courtesy lights on, you don't need the down lights, you can have a real nice mood yeah. in here, it's not gonna ruin your night vision. And you've got all driving. the controls for it. Yeah. Which is great, so I don't have to get up 
go in the dark, yeah. turn it off, figure out where I'm going. It's yeah. like I've got all the controls here. I can control it from where I'm sitting. Yep. That's the best part. No, that's awesome. A um, couple little technical things whilst we're here. I can see the VHF. I can see the fusion operation just there. Generator on off is quite clearly um, done from just here. And this would be most likely, yes, control panel. So 240, 12 volts operated from here. Engine batteries are all done just there. And at some point we'll jump down and have a quick look in the engine bay. But I think as an overnight for a couple, like, great, yeah. yeah, and going between destination to destination. And let's face it, during the ownership of a boat like this, you're probably only going to sleep on it once in a blue moon because that's the thing, yeah. you do other things and you'll go. It's, but that's the thing, it's a nice entertaining boat, it's a good day boat, but yeah. you've also got this option to then take it a bit further, go with someone you love to somewhere exciting and new. Yeah. Go yeah. on an adventure. Awesome, love it. Let's go upstairs. Sounds good. So, engine access is pretty easy. Uh, you just have two um, buttons on the starboard aft quarter, press up. These hydraulics, two, two rams just go up. There is also easy day access through this insulated hatch, one forward, one in the middle. And here we go, here's access to the motors. Um, we've got the twin 400s, as I mentioned before. You can see hydraulics, blowers, power distribution, batteries on both sides, and fuel distribution up forward. Yeah, this is a nice, big, easy, easily accessible engine bay, which any mechanic is actually going to be pretty happy to uh, to work in. And look, that's let's face it, that's important. You know, if your mechanic's not happy, then your boat won't get serviced as much as you'd like. So there you go. Not much to it. Pretty straightforward. Great professional solid engine bay. Alrighty, we've uh, just had a little blast down the harbour. It is getting super, super duper busy, and I think it's just going to be one of those summers. But you know what? Didn't bother us. <laughs> so I'd really enjoyed that. What is my wrap up? on the Saxe Rebel 47. Uh, this is a boat for someone who knows what they're doing. This is a boat for someone who knows how to enjoy their time and what they like to do with their time. That, that they've clearly done a lot of boating before and they're happy to invest the money in something that's gonna do exactly what they want it to do. And that's it really, because this is, this is what this boat's designed for. You know, These huge big foam filled fenders go raft up with your mates on their big boats go pull up to docks and pick up all your friends or just go out with your partner and have a quiet day and enjoy a beautiful evening. Now, if that's you, if you can, if you can envisage yourself doing Whit Sundays holidays or awesome Sydney summers, you need to talk to Cole from Saxe Marine. I mean, seriously, this thing is awesome. They do have capacity to build a few. Um, I know that the orders are running out really, really far out on many other boats at the moment, but they still have limited capacity on this at the moment. So yeah, if that's you, oh, look at that. There goes another Saks 47 Rebel right now. I mean, yeah, talk about popularity. That's pretty cool to see. My name's Dan Jones, Ruby behind the camera. Thank you for joining us. This has been Dan's Boat Life. We'll see you on the next one.